These are the five facts you need to know about meat tenderizers. Brought to you by EasyVid Wiki. Fact number one. The concept of tenderizing has been around for centuries. The idea of consuming meat stretches as far back as the first appearance of Homo sapiens 100,000 years ago. Evolving into a bipedal species afforded early man the ability to become a hunter. This might help to explain the logic of developing a taste for beef. Before man harnessed the use of fire, meat was generally eaten raw. This caused a new problem of how to properly preserve it. Fact number 2. Since the middle of the 20th century, meat tenderizers have continued to evolve from manual, crank-operated devices to those with more compact shapes with specialized double heads and textured handles. These innovations are meant to improve user comfort as well as the taste of your meals when preparing them. This simple, yet effective beef preparation tool will help you create delicious, mouth-watering steaks in the kitchen. Visit the wiki. Get the most recent list of the best meat tenderizers you can get. Go to wiki.easyvid.com or click beneath this video to see it. Fact number 3. Generally speaking, tenderness refers to a variety of factors. This includes the amount of chewing resistance experienced during consumption, how the meat is cooked, and how much liquid is lost at high temperatures. The meat tenderizer's job is to soften fibers and connective tissues. This gives your steak a smooth consistency that's ultimately easy to chew and digest. Fact number 4. Mechanical meat tenderizers fall into two major categories, needle and cubing. The most common cubing tools resemble a hammer or mallet in shape. They're constructed from either metal or wood, and have short handles with two striking heads. Needle tenderizers leverage a series of sharp blades designed to pierce various cuts of meat. Fact number 5. Because meat tenderizers come in different styles, your main focus should be on the type or cut of meat you plan to prepare. This can often direct you to the appropriate tool. If the goal is to produce very thin slices, a good old-fashioned meat mallet will do the trick. If you're looking to tenderize a more expensive type of steak, then a needle or crank-operated tenderizer might be best. See the most recently updated list of the best meat tenderizers you can find. Go to EasyVid Wiki, or click beneath this video.